Here's a divider I made in Minecraft. Um, divides two numbers, and for the most part, it's correct. Uh, here are the inputs. Here's the dividend, dividend, and so, uh, and this is the divisor. Um, so we'll try 22 divided by 7 because that's what everyone asks for when they want to divide something. Um, yeah. Oh, and you have to always remember to do that. Press the button so the decimal and the actual number can get in there. And then here's a reset, but we want to start. So it uses the uh, long division algorithm that everyone learns in elementary, sc elementary school. Uh, think of this as like the uh, number in the box and then this is a number outside. So this number, the one under us, shifts uh, to the left until that minus this is uh, greater than or equal to zero. So when it is, it does what just happened now. Uh, the number then, or the digit, single digit goes here and it loads onto the uh, shift register the same time it goes up here and it momentarily stops the clock and then uh, it sends a thing down here to uh, get the difference into these shift registers and then the process repeats and it keeps doing that so it looks like it's done and we'll see if the answer is right and 22 divided by 7 I think it is, so 3.14285, yeah, that's pretty good, um, the, uh, if usually only the first four decimals are correct, the fifth is usually a hit or miss, it's like the percent error kind of things. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, input numbers into the calculator, just in case if it wasn't uh, clear. Um, always reset first. You never know what kind of weird things are in in there already. Uh, start with the dividend. So um, the most significant bit is here. Least significant is over there. Um, so if you want to input uh, ten, then it'd just be like that. Oops. And then never forget the decimal. If you forget the decimal, then it'll never finish, and you'll be very disappointed. Um, and when you're done with the dividend, always, 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 always remember to put this in. Because this actually puts the uh, numbers into the end of decimal, into the shift register. Uh, if you forget this, then nothing will be in here. And you'll be wondering why nothing is popping up. Uh, for the divisor, which is pretty easy. Um, least significant bit, most significant bit. Uh, so this would be the ones place. So if you want to input uh, 3 or not 3, let's do something else, uh, 5, then uh, it would be 1, 0, 1. Or something that's not symmetrical, uh, like 6, so it would be uh, 0, then 1, then 1, like that. So that's pretty easy. So a little bit about the, um, the uh, binary to BCD converter. Um, the uh, left side here is for numbers that are 1 and greater, and the right side here is for numbers between 1 and 0, so fractional, decimal, whatever you want to say. So each little, uh, well they're not very little, they're actually quite large, uh, module here uh, adds 3 when the number that is input is greater than, or is 5 or greater. So if you put 5, then you get 8. Uh, you, you get the idea. Then the right side, thank you to uh, Hans Lemerson for figuring this out for me, uh, is uh, almost the same thing, but when you get an input that is 8 or greater, then you subtract 3. So if you put an 8, you get 5. I think you can see that right here. Uh, I will have download links to uh, the divider with the BCD and without it, so go ahead and have fun with those. 
Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks.